Just like we discuss the ahkam of salah, the laws of salah, and just like we discuss the laws of siyam, we also should discuss such laws as well. The laws pertaining to our day-to-day -day lives. Also the laws pertaining the ziyarah of Arba'een. Of course, the ziyarah of Arba'een is extremely important, just like salah is also important, siyam is also important. But that does not mean we should not discuss its laws, its regulations, how people should behave there, what should be their priority. There is so much food that's going to waste. So much money that's going to waste while this money and this food can be given to the impoverished people of Iraq throughout the year, to the orphans throughout the year. I personally met someone last year in Arba'in, he told me I had eight dinners. I had dinner eight times this evening. There is no need. If you have extra money, save that money and give it in the name of Imam al Hussein, in the name of Sayyid al Shuhada, throughout the year to those, especially to those who, st who stood defending the shrines of the Ahl al Bayt, whether it's in Syria or elsewhere or Iraq. Or... There is people eating and throwing their garbage. This land, the city of Karbala, is a sacred land. Some of ulama, some of the ulama, they don't even sleep the night in Karbala. They leave the, the close proximity of the city. Not to be disrespectful to the city of Imam al-Hussein. To the sacred land, land. It is not my words. It is the words of the ma'soom. Tibtum, he says to the companions of Imam al-Husayn, Tibtum, wa tabat al-ardu allati fiha dufintum. That land is sacred. How are you throwing your garbage? For two months after the ziyarah of Arba'in, people are still picking up the garbage after the za'irin. This is not right. This is unacceptable. And if we don't speak about this, then this ziyarah is going to be the same. So wouldn't it be better if we spent that money to hire a company, for example. There are many companies, but let's hire 10 more, 20 more, 50 more that will clean up after the masses. That will remove the trash immediately. And you know, I tell you, some of those pictures of these scholars, they're not to be missed. They are bigger than the mokib itself. Literally. And you wonder, what's this picture doing? Is it, so if I see a bigger picture, it means that this person has more ilm or more piety? What is the purpose? And I guarantee you, brothers and sisters, no marja. No marja would accept this wastefulness when it comes to printing their pictures. No marja. Go and meet any marja and ask him personally. Say to him that there is X amount of money being spent on your pictures. Do you allow this? They will tell you no. But the problem is, do we listen to the marja? Yes. When it benefits us, we listen. When it doesn't benefit us, when you reach the mawakib, the rest areas between Najaf and Karbala or Baghdad and Karbala and the different cities, every mawakib has put a picture of the marja' <coughs> right at the entrance. <coughs> and people walk through that mawakib saying, I'm not going to go there. Why? Because I don't follow that marja'. It's a rest area, Habibi. It's a mokib. You're going to go drink tea. So, is drinking tea according to this marja' different than the other marja'? Or is resting, for example, different than the fatwa of this marja' and your marja'? 
There's about 1,000 poles, rest stations, stops for those who have gone to Arba'in. For those who haven't gone, inshallah, you will go this year. And on every pole, there's about five different pictures of five different maraja. And you wonder, why do we have those pictures? This impoverished country of Iraq that has the greatest numbers of orphans, that has the greatest number of impoverished people that has the greatest number of widows what good do those pictures do for them instead of spending a hundred two hundred thousand dollars on those pictures on the way of the walk of Arba'een Go and look for those people and their families who gave their lives to defend the shrine of Imam al Hussein, to defend the shrine of Abu al-Fadl, to defend the shrine of Samarra. Thousands of young men were killed defending the cause of Imam al Hussein. Thousands of mothers were willing to give their sons. Thousands of young women were willing to depart from their husbands for the sake of the Ahlul Bayt. And now they are neglected. Now no one is asking about them.